children welcome back after the examination hope you all must have done your papers excellently well today i'm going to teach you about singular and plural i will tell you about the usage of singular words and their transformation into the plural forms and their usage so in the beginning i would like to tell you what you consider as one is singular and what you consider as many is the plural form of it i will tell you about the rules which are to be followed in order to change the singular words into their plural forms the very first rule most nouns most nouns can be changed into their plural forms by just adding a s to it for example the word tiger tiger is a noun it's a common noun it can be converted into a plural form by just adding s it becomes tigers then we have apple similarly it goes apples then we have book which can be changed into books these are the plural forms of these words now moving on to the second rule we have the nouns ending with a consonant means the words or the nouns which end with a consonant and they have a y at the end can be changed into their plural forms by changing the y to i and then adding es to the word for example let's take it is a story story the word ends in r and it has y at the end so this y will be changed into i and es will be added to it so it becomes stories now let's move on to the third rule nouns ending with a vowel plus a y means the word should have a vowel before the y and Uh, and a y after the vowel take it the take it anyway these words can be converted into their plural forms by just adding a s to it like key e is the word e is the letter before y and this key can be converted into keys now next rule is the nouns which end with ch sh ss or x i repeat the nouns which end with ch sh ss or x these words can be changed into their plural forms by just adding es means these words can be changed by just adding es like the word is bench ending in ch so it becomes benches es is added to it dish ending in sh will be converted into dishes class double s at the end so it becomes classes and box x is there so you add es and it becomes boxes so now the next rule is that is the fifth rule now is ending in f or fe there are certain words which end in f or fe for these words what you do is change the f or the fe in place of that you use v and then add es means you will remove that f or fe and then you write that v and you will add es like it is leaf so your f will be changed into v and es will be added to it similarly knife fe this fe will be changed into v and es will be added to it i hope children you are getting my points the next point is nouns ending with a vowel plus a vo but means the nouns which end with a vowel and have an o at the end means those words can be converted by simply adding s to it like piano radio these will be pianos radios next rule nouns ending with the consonant and then having an o at the end like just add es to it mean like see it is a potato potato the spelling is p o t a t o this 
T is there. T is a consonant, you know, children. And O is at the A. So this potato gets changed into potatoes by adding ES to it. Similarly, mosquito ending in O, O and having T as a consonant. So it becomes mosquitoes adding ES. I hope you all know what vowels and consonants are. Vowels are A, E, I, O and U. And the rest of the letters of the English alphabet are known as the consonant. You must remember this. The next rule, there are some nouns which are used totally in a different way. For example, we have foot. We don't say foot so foot is. We make it, the word is changed into feet. Feet is the word which is used for both the, the lower part of both the legs. Tooth. Tooth is used for a single tooth and when we talk, when we take the plural of it, it becomes teeth. Teeth means I have either the entire set or more than a single tooth. Goose gets on to be geese. Man changes into men. Woman into women. Child to children. Person to people. When we talk to a single person. But when we address a group of people, they become a people. That's not a single person. Mouse, it is mice. The last one. Some nouns have the same singular and the plural forms. Means these words are used in the same way as they are used in the singular form. Singular and plural, there is no difference. The same word is used. Like deer, deer. Sheep, sheep. I hope children, you must have understood today's topic clearly. And the assignments is also going to be attached to it. So please do the assignment in your workbooks. Thank you.